Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Sec. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you a new free hosting from serve00.com. As you can see from screen, it calls itself as a revolutionary free hosting. It's not like VPS or it's not like virtual hosting. It's more like a shared VPS. It's running on free BSD. It gives you quite a lot of free services like free storage, monthly transfer is unlimited. You can create 100 websites and you can have 10 MySQL database. You can create three customized TCP UDP ports for your application to use. RAM memory is 5, 12 megabytes. It seems not that much considering this is completely free solution, free forever solution. I think it's worth to try. And I did try it. It seems pretty stable and pretty easy to get as well. And the most important is no ad. Price is free. So all those features come in. I think it's worth to give it a try. And I just like to share how you can get it. And in the future, I'll probably put more videos what you can do with this free hosting. So when you saw this video, you might see the server is full. Right now, they have maximum 150,000 users. Right now, they just 1,537 available. So when you refresh it, two more people already get it. So more accounts will be created once it reaches the maximum. 150,000, then they will stop registration. You won't be able to sign up, but they will open their server. As you can see, they have, they are 15 servers right now. For each server, they take 10,000 users. They allow 10,000 account to be created. So now they just recently opened the panel 14.server00.com. So that's why you see the numbers here. So every couple of minutes, somebody gonna register account there. So when you saw this video, if it's full, just wait a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks, then they will open a new server. Then you can register your account for yourself. So now let's go through the steps to register account and see how the panel looks like once you get account. Just before I start the jewelry today to create an account on server00.com, I want to mention some couple features in my blog, which I already listed there. So it has some fantastic features here. They have free certificate. You will get unlimited number of email alias. Uh, you will have, have you will have daily backups. You will get your email, Chrome jobs, quite a lot of things. Server is located in European Union, but you need to know that Server Zero Zero is not really a VPS, not really virtual server to give it to. It's like shared VPS, so it's a free BSD server for everyone, and so there's no root permission. It's not a Linux system, so it looks different. It also already have a web server, Apache, and you only can have three ports to customize for yourself to use. So those are basic things. If you go through my blog post, you will see more steps, how you can create it. When I create this blog post, you will see the panel is 13. Right now, the panel is 14 now. So we're gonna, if you choose here, then you're gonna sign in to the panel 14, that server. So for now, let's start to register account. There's some requirement to maintain your account active, which you have to log in to Davi Web, the portal, Davi Web 2.0 right now we are using. So based on TLS, you have to log in to Davi Web or SSH into your panel server in 90 days. If you are not logged in, if you forgot it, 
then your account will be automatically removed. So just remember that. That's a very important to maintain your account as active. Of course, you can find a way to use in a script to auto log in every couple of days. So keep your account alive or and active. That's a different topic we will cover in the future. So once you get to the website, if the number is not reaching a maximum, so now you can see after a couple of minutes, there's one account going to be created, the number going to increase until it's hitting to the maximum, then they will stop accepting the new account. So right for now, it still be, will be okay. Um, you will see those uh, free features you will get, but you won't be able to uh, do the remote database access as a standard in those things. There's no SLA on these free services, it's expected, but they do have those nice features here. Let's click on a create account. Let's do put the basic information. You will get this information account has been created successfully. There will be instruction sent to the email address. So let's take a look at the email here. John Nasdaq account activation. So we need to do login, password, web portal. You get the password. You can log into this panel. Here. So this is server 14. Again, if you come in from the main page, go to the panel, and then you do the panel 14, which is same as what we got there. We put the username in, we put the username, the password in, and to sign in. So that's it. That's how you can get your own server00.com account. That is easy. Now from now on, we are able to create in our website. We are able to create in uh, quite a few applications, which I put in here. You are, you should be able to log in with uh, SSH using the SSH login. You should be able to install WordPress there and then you can deploy your own apps. Uh, I do have quite a few videos and then you also can add your own domains into here as well. If you want to use your own domain, it's already have a subdomain from server00.com. But if you want to get your own domain, it's also possible. Uh, in uh, Davi Web 2.0, you will see this domain already being assigned, subdomain was being assigned to you. You can try to access to it. Page successful added. In the next session, I'm going to show you how to create your own WordPress blog in this server00.net. We are going to install WordPress blog into this web hosting site server00.com, which we just got it. As you can see, explanation day says 10 years from now. But actually, it will automatically extend it every time when the server rebooted, it will get you a new 10 years from that time. If you want to know how to install WordPress, you can go to the docs.server00.com, the documentation site. There's a tutorial section. WordPress is here. The so all step listing here, there might be a little bit difference depending on the server you got and the, the domain you have. So there's a little bit changes. I did put everything into my blog post here to show you how to do that. I'm going to use in all the step by listing here to create this WordPress website. Let's start with creating a database, MySQL database. Add a database, give a name, use a name, password. You want to confirm the password. 
and add it. The next step is relating to SSH session. You may want to SSH to it, as I did here, SSH. The first time when you log in, you may get the fingerprint warning here. So the key is not known by any other names. You just say yes, log in. So let's do that. You're gonna use in this command. That's your username. That's your server name and then password. Free BSD. Please keep that in mind. We will not have root permission. And by default, we're gonna use our built-in website domain name, which is your username dot server zero zero dot net for our blog for our WordPress blog. And you can see your domain name here. So just go there. You can see they already have public underscore HTML folder there. We're gonna download the latest WordPress 27 megabyte, just a couple of seconds. It will be downloaded. So we do have this default website created. We're gonna delete it. We don't need it. We're gonna create our own. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove it just using this whole command. Copy those command in. It will automatically remove public underscore HTML folder and the unzip latest.zip and then move WordPress folder to the public underscore HTML folder and then remove the downloaded zip file. Wait until it's done. It should be done in a couple of seconds. That's the basic setup we need to do from the SSH session. Then we can go back to here. Let's take a look the magical gonna happening because we already have WordPress website unzipped onto the public underscore HTML folder. So we're gonna go through this classic WordPress installation wizard. Continue. Of course, you need to have database name, username, so which we can find out from our previous step. Database name. Username Password Database host and a table prefix. Just want you to know the database server is this. So just make sure you got this right. We are creating our MySQL database server. So that's our database name. It's not localhost since it's not sitting on the same server. Let's submit. All right, so we finished our basic setup connecting the database. Now we're gonna do username, put admin, put password, and then put our email address. Then install WordPress. Oh, we are in. You can read to the site. Blog, hello world, then now. From here, you can change your themes, you can add a post, you can manage your WordPress website. Of course, we can do more with this SSH session. Uh, even it's not a root access, but you are able to install some packages and create your own web application in here and hosting applications on this server. I'm gonna have a couple of more videos to introduce on how to use server 00 this free hosting service to create more applications on it. Keep tuned. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe channel if you haven't. See you in my next video.